The Fairfield Community School District is in a bind. Over the last decade, enrollment has dropped by 20 percent. As a result, they're facing $800,000 worth of budget cuts. The majority of parents, staff, and community leaders who attended Tuesday night's meeting were against the closing of Libertyville, which is why the issue is up for discussion. There's been some concern in the community that decisions have already been made. They have not. Absolutely not. We're being open and transparent. We want to collect information from the citizens, from our community, from parents, and we'll go forward with tough decisions that have to be made. Superintendent Dr. Lori Knoll said the district was given two options. They can reduce the number of staff or narrow down the number of facilities. More than one parent argued that increasing class sizes will negatively affect the students' learning. I love this school because they get to know my daughter on a one-on-one basis. If she goes to Penn's or Washington, she's going to have to fight for attention from 25 other students, from one teacher, and that's not fair to her, especially with her autism. I moved to Libertyville specifically for the small school. I like the small classroom setting. My both my children get extra attention from the teacher because of the small classroom. But Dr. Knoll said small class sizes aren't always a good thing for the students either. Sometimes if the class size is too small, that also can have a diverse negative impact on students and their learning. Another concern came from Libertyville Mayor Rodney Nelson, who's afraid this decision will drive away families. Instead of closing the school, the board was asked to consider other options, such as arranging maintenance contracts and cutting back on transportation. Many parents think the school is too valuable to be the first to go, including Cindy McWhorter, whose son recently attended Libertyville. He made a huge increase in his grades when he came here from Fairfield, and I, I just really, really would not like to see it closed. I think it'll really hurt the community. Reporting in Libertyville, Iowa, Beth Walden, KTVO News.